honored to have here today, um, where you are, whether you are a staff member, a volunteer, a donor, or a partner. Have a friend, or just need to have that. Well, we envision a world where everyone has a decent place to live. Well, it's a great day in the house, in this literal house that we're in. Usually our dedications are outside, but the dedication today is inside. We're so thankful. Thank so much to everyone who participated in making this blessing possible for Natalie and Amaya and how beautiful that they're going to spend a lifetime in here. Those memories, and we're just excited and we're so proud of her. Uh, I'm in construction. You know, I've put billions of, helped put billions of dollars of, of work in place in hotels schools, you know, restaurants, all kinds of stuff. But these houses um, are the ones that I will remember um, in, in my lifetime. So we've got some folks here that I want to introduce. Uh, John Reese, the, the mayor, he's served uh, the city for uh, over a quarter century and, and for the last 13 years uh, as the mayor and before that and on the, the commission. So. so Natalie, I want to welcome you and your family to the city of Winter Garden. You know, you are welcome. If there's anything that we can do for you, just let us know. Uh, my name is John Williams. I'm going to be the uh, new interim city manager for the city. Uh, and as I begin my new role, I felt like it was important to offer assurances to you that the city's commitment to revitalize East Warner Garden and affordable housing will remain a top priority. So the property that you're standing on right now is because of the generosity of Gerald Towers, who I just loved, and we had a great um, relationship. I would tell you that unfortunately he passed away in March, and we'll hear from his family today, but I know that he is smiling down, and so Jenny, would you welcome with me Gerald Towers' daughter, Jenny. day of celebration and a day of new beginnings. Um, a day in which our family is very honored. I told myself I'm not going to lose it. <laughs> um, honored to be a part of. And I remember when my dad bought this property and I was like, what, what is your plan? What is your thought? So just two years ago when mom and dad decided to donate the property to Habitat, I saw a smile in his eyes and I knew he was right. The right thing didn't come along. Sometimes in our lives we all have sorrows, but if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on lean on me Habitat we are forever grateful and thankful and we lean on you thank you so much Mentor this lovely, lovely woman, and her daughter, and I can't thank you because it's so emotional. Mark and I have helped her get to this point, and we are so proud of you. All right, and we have a Bible for your home. Yeah. We always have God in your house, and because you're now going to be a new homeowner, we got a toolkit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Natalie, on behalf of our father and my mom. We are honored to present you with the keys to this wonderful house, your house. You've earned it and you deserve it. Congratulations. Get 
every day, not even wondering if I have Dr. on my mind, I'll come through this house almost every weekend or afterward, I pass my parents' house and come here and just look at it. They're sitting in the driveway. I said, this is going to be my house. It's going to be my house. I want to say I thank everybody for coming. That's from the bottom of my heart for coming and reach out and even to support me. I really appreciate it. Yes.